name is Glenn Monroe. I'm the owner of Brain Diesel. And today I want to walk through a problem I've had, or a problem with the solution, which is how to rename all those pictures, all those files you have. Because when you take your taking all your selfies over your summer break or whatever, and you go to download them, they're all called photo one, photo two, photo three, with the date and time stamp on it, which is nice to have, but not particularly useful when you're going through thousands of them later on. So I'll show you an example of how I use it. Uh, I do movie reviews in my spare time for spoiler-free uh, for spoiler -free movie reviews. If I right click on this here, if I do save image as, if I want to use this image, here's the name it comes up with. Now I could retype that name if, as uh, Vader or Empire Strikes Back or whatever I want to call it, but um, to do that for each one can take time, especially when I want to grab a lot of photos. So I download the photos I want, and then I use a tool called the Bulk Rename Utility, which you can get at bulkrenameutility.co.uk. Um, there's the link for it right there. And uh, you just go here and it's a free download. And I want to show it to you in action. So what I do is I open the bulk rename utility. And then I go find the file folder that has what I'm looking to um, work with. So in this case today, I'm going to go to my OneDrive. Which I should have done beforehand. I want. And here's all the ones I have for the movie Greyhound that I just reviewed. Here's the current names. So I'm going to select all of those. I just click on the first one. And then I can do Control A to select all of them is the fastest way to get there. I want to remove the first certain number of characters. Well, how many characters? Well, I don't know. It's a whole bunch. So I'm going to drive this up. And as I drive this up, you're going to notice that this on the side is changing. So there's the first 10 characters gone, uh, 50 characters gone. Like, yeah, this is a big, long, ugly name. There you go. And you'll see some of these are down to .jpg, and some of them are still going. So when you, you don't have to worry about getting it exactly right, you just go until you feel you've got them all. So getting rid of 135 characters, there, now they're all called .jpg. So that's not useful, but I did get rid of all the gobbledygook that I had there. Now I'm going to add a prefix to it. So I'm going to put a prefix, and this movie was called Greyhound. So I'll just put in GH. Actually, I'll just call it Greyhound. Greyhound. So now they're all called greyhound.jpg, which you know you can't do. That's a problem. So now what I want to do is go over here to, you can put dates on them as well. I've never bothered trying that one. But I do insert greyhound, and then I'll put a space in as well. So I've got that. And then I want to number them. And I can start at any given number or put breaks in between. I'm just going to start at the number one. So mode is going to be a prefix or a uh, suffix number. There we are. So it goes there. If I had chosen prefix and suffix, it puts the one before and the after, uh, or just a prefix, and so on. So I'm going to go with the suffix, and I added the space beforehand in my text field, and now you'll see these files are going to be called numbers 1 to 13. And that's it. Then I just hit rename, and it's like, are you sure you want to do this? It's like, absolutely. Boom. Done. And now they're all called that. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing one more time with uh, the old guard and I'll change Greyhound here to the old guard uh, and then at a space remove the last oh select all of them first and there we go that takes care of them make sure it didn't miss any numbers we're all good when I had them all with the start of one you'll notice it's one to ten and then, but then the double digits happen. If I do a padding in here of two, then I force them all to be two characters, or three, four, five. You can decide how many characters you want it to be, so that your numbers not line, up, line up nice and cleanly. So because mine are all two-digit numbers, I put a pad of two on there, and then I can do that this way, and let's see, uh, rename. And, okay, that's all I've done with this so far. I've been using this for a while. Um, appending folder names, extensions. You can do all kinds of stuff. This is all I felt the need to do with so far, but it's a pretty powerful tool to handle all of your file naming. So hopefully you find this to be a useful tool, and it's just the bulk rename utility. I get no, I'm not affiliated with it in any way, just a tool I found that I like, and I hope you like it too. So that's that. My name is Glenn Monroe. Thanks for uh, watching. Please subscribe and hit all the right buttons to do all the right things, and um, uh, and actually, if there's a certain way you use the tool, mention it in the comments. I'd like to hear things that maybe I'm missing that you find valuable as well. So thanks for that, and uh, stay pumped. We'll see you next time.